Hello everyone. So I woke up this morning and my EA app is just not working. It's I'm just getting this blank screen and when I try and play The Sims 4, nothing happens. Just I just get this preparing game that goes on and on. So I'm going to show you a few things that you can try if you are having the same problem or a few things just <laughs> make the app run a bit better. These things have always worked for me in the past and if there's one thing I've learned in all my years of playing The Sims and the year or so that I've been using the EA app, what works for one person does not work for another person and sometimes some things work and sometimes they don't. So I'm going to show you four things that have worked for me in the past so it might help you. Alright, so let's just first right click on these to close these windows because it's, the game is just not going to load. Okay, so the first thing you can try is if you, if you have the EA app open, sometimes it just won't go into the EA app at all. Luckily today, I can show you with these three little dots or lines, whatever you want to call them. So if you click on that, the first thing you can try is go to help and you can try restarting the app. Sometimes this works, sometimes not. So restart the app, it might work for you. You never know. If that doesn't work, click on app recovery and clear the cache and restart your computer. That might work for you. We never know with the EA app. If that doesn't work for you, the third thing you can try. All right, let's just close this. So the third thing you can try is press Control alt delete to bring up your task manager. You're going to click on your task manager and just let's maximize that. Just make sure you sort by name and you are going to end all these. The most important one to end the task is the EA background services. We are going to end that. So make sure you have nothing of EA in your task manager. All right, let's end that as well. Okay, so now close your task manager and double click on the EA app and it should go into it now. I find this has been working for me lately. It, okay, all right, so I have to log in again, which is fine. All right, so I've signed in. Everything's working. So the EA app is working. Let's see if we can get into my Sims game. Let's see if that will work now. All right, so that worked for me. That's deleting everything in your task manager related to EA. So if none of these things worked for you, if restarting the app didn't work and the app recovery clearing the cache didn't work and if you went into task manager and you ended the tasks and those didn't work either, as a last resort, I would try uninstall the EA app. But for me, that didn't work. The EA app, I just couldn't get it to uninstall. But what did help is I downloaded the installer from EA and it should still be in my downloads. You click on this, your installer, and click repair and that has sometimes helped me as well. So you don't need to reinstall the app, you just need to repair and that has helped me in the past. So anyway, I hope those four things can help you. If none of those things work, then the other option is to, to contact EA. So I think you can do that through here. You can send an error report. You can visit the HQ. I have contacted EA in the past and they have always been pretty helpful. So as I said, that would would be really be the last resort. So I'm hoping one of these four things I've showed you will help you get into your EA app and load your game, whichever game it may be. Thanks for watching.